Hi everyone, Bill Marino, the online learning librarian at EMU here. It's once again that time of the semester when you're probably writing papers, and with that writing comes the need to cite your sources. Today I'm going to summarize a tool that's available in many of the library's databases and will help with that task. It's going to differ in appearance and name from database to database, but the location and function of the tool is pretty standard across our main database suppliers, and once you know what you're looking for, you should be able to find it pretty easily. Let's start with eSearch. Here I have an article that I'd like to use. If I look for the double quotes icon on the right of the item's record and select it, a window should appear that allows me to set my citation format. In this case, let's use APA. As you see, a pre-formatted citation will appear that I can now copy and paste into my references. Now let's consider databases provided by ProQuest, EBSCO, or Gale. The vendors are pretty good at making sure their branding appears on databases they provide, so look for the company name in the upper portion of the screen. Here I'm going to want to start with the item's detailed record. For my results screen, clicking on the item's title will take me to this detailed record. Now I'm looking for a link called Cite, or Citation Tools from this menu on the right. As an eSearch, I should be provided with a number of citation formats to choose from, and pre-formatted citations that I can copy and paste into my document. So that's a quick introduction to the citation tool. One additional note, these tools will usually provide good citations, but you should always check as sometimes you'll have to do some cleanup. If you choose, you can also use more sophisticated citation management software. More information is available on the library's website. The link is in the description. And as always, if you have a question, ask a librarian.